What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're bringing you guys yet another banger of a team that showcases Regiram, Zacian, and Life Orb Zathos. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. I do not know how many times I tell you guys to subscribe. So if you're not subscribed already, I do not. I just don't know what to do anymore. I do not know what to do anymore. So consider subscribing. Consider subscribing. But let's get started here in the top left corner. Starting off with the team preview with the one and only Rush Ram. Rush Ram is one of those restricted mods that you don't see too often. That is still very, very strong. We got the Turbo Blaze ability rocking alongside with the Assault Vest as its item. And then we got Draco Meteor, Earth Power, Blue Flare, and Solar Beam for this thing's moveset. I absolutely love it. We got our two stab moves, our fire and dragon moves. Then we got two great coverage moves with a ground move and a grass move. Can't go wrong with this Pokemon. He's going to be great when Dynamax. Second Pokemon on squad is going to be nobody other than Zacian. We got Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword, Iron Head, Play Rough, Substitute, and Protect. Fairly normal moveset for any Zacian. Middle left is Zapdos over here. Zapdos is so good. Like I always say, one of the best Dynamax Pokemon in the game at the moment. We got Static as its ability, alongside with the Life for Reds item. And then we got Hurricane, Thunderbolt, Heat Wave for coverage, and Detect for our big old Protect. Love this moveset. Really, really good. Both are stab moves, and then we got a great fire coverage move to change up the weather if need be. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support speed control Tornadus over here. We got Prankster alongside with that Wakam Berry so we can soak up an electric shot. We also got Tailwind for speed control, Air Slash for our stab damage, Icy Wind for double hitting moves plus speed control. And then last but not least, we're Rocket Protect for our fourth and final move. Bottom left hand corner is a nice support mod that we don't get to use too often. We got ourselves a Lolan Persian over here with Fur Coat, Fur Coat, and Focus Sash as item. We got Fake Out for Flinches, Icy Wind for more speed control, Fake Tears to actually pair up with the Rush Ram and Zapdos. We can drop special defense on opposing Pokemon and have this Pokemon dump on people. And last but not least, we're rocking Foul Play to go up against physical attackers like Zacian. So really do like this Pokemon. Probably will be using it a good bit in today's video. Final Pokemon on the squad is another support mod. That is going to be Amoongus over here. Regenerator alongside the Mental Herb. We got Sport, Rage Powder, Pollen Puff, and Protect. Fairly normal moveset that works oh so well with any Amoongus. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, I'm not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Reshiram, Zacian, and Life Orb Zapdos. Series 12 team. First battle coming at you guys, and it's looking a little tough. Not going to lie, this Palkia and Ice Rider Calyx Trick Room is so good. It's been all over the rank ladder. Everybody's been using it, and Trick Room counters up a lot of different teams. So let's see how we should play this one. How should we even play this one? I'm thinking of just, we got to bring a Moongus, right? Just in case it pops Trick Room, we can outspeed everybody, put Pokemon to sleep left and right. I'm really digging that. I am really digging that. So I might lead the Moongus. Do I lead the Moongus? Or do I just like, you know, bring him in the back end and kind of go from there? That is definitely an option. That is definitely an option. What is the play here? We could go Persian. Persian ain't too bad. Kind of like the Persian alongside with Regiram lead. Let me see this thing's speed. Let me see your speed, dude. Regiram, 127. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm kind of leaning towards both of them. But then the dragon could really do us dirty if he goes Palkia. But we can also do some work. So you know what? I'm going to lead the Regiram. Yeah, we're leading the Regiram. We're going to go Amoongus here as well. And then we're going to uh, roll out with Zacian in the back end. Yeah, probably our best bet. Probably our best bet. Let's lock it down. Let's lock it in. And this might be the team that I struggle with the most in Series 12. I've always been struggling with this team. This team has just been slapping up on me left and right. So hopefully we can counteract it this time and grab ourselves a win. Before we even hop into first battle, you guys know the deal. I'm asking you guys question of the day. What type do you want the next Evolution to be? Let me know in the comment section down below. There's so many and there's been leaks about Gen 9 bringing a brand new Evolution. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. He's going to go Regiram alongside, or I'm going to go Regiram alongside Persian. And he's going to go in with uh, Palkia here. And it seems like Trick Room is just like a freebie pickup, right? It seems like Trick Room is just a freebie. And I kind of don't want to Dynamax. I'm going to have to Dynamax Regiram, right? I am going to have to Dynamax the Regiram here. I am going to have to Dynamax Regiram. That's scary. That is definitely scary. We could go for a foul play. Chip up some damage. He's probably going to go for that, uh, well, I could go fake tears. Could go for the fake tears. This thing isn't prankster, right? That's fur coat as its ability. Half damage with physical moves, yeah, yeah. What's your speed looking at? What is your speed, Persian? What's your speed? Okay, 183. You're rather fast. Okay, I like it. I dig it a lot. So, you know what? We fake tears? Yeah, let's drop a fake tears. And I really want a Draco meter, but you know the follow me's coming in here. You know the follow me's poking in here, and he's going to pop a trick from him. So, we're just going to double down into this Pokemon. That's fine. That is totally fine. That is totally fine. We can't fake out due to the Psychic Surge. But okay, he's just going to Dynamax. 
I'm with it. He's going to Dynamax. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with him Dynamaxing. He might take out my Reshiram here. And if that's the case, that's going to be tough because then we... Oh, we should have Dynamax. We should have Dynamax. That's real tough. We should have Dynamax because if my Reshiram goes down here, we could be sitting in a rough spot. A real rough spot. A real rough spot. There's the follow me. Dude, if Reshiram goes down here, we're dead. We're dead. Because then who am I going to Dynamax? I can't Dynamax Zacian. Persian, you going to want to Dynamax? I do not know. We should have Dynamax. We should have Dynamax. Bay calling RN. Maybe he'll go after my what's called. Maybe he will go after my... Uh... Maybe he'll go after my Persian. If he goes after my Persian, that would be beautiful. I would love what we're sitting, but... Mm, not looking good for us. He's going to go for a one one Go after Persian, please! Looks like we're fighting this one without Dynamax. Unless I Dynamax a Persian. You know what I do? I could Dynamax a Persian. I could. I could indeed Dynamax a Persian. I think I'm going to have to. I'd rather do it over to Moongus. Right? Let me see. <laughs> Let me see the stats. This is bad. This is real bad. 58.95. But Moongus are a little bit better here. But I want him for the spores, dude. We're Dynamax a Persian here. No ands, ifs, or buts. No ands, ifs, or buts. We have to get right after this. Right after this. No ands, ifs, or buts. We doing this. We doing this. He's going to bring out a Moongus. Dude, come on, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I could fake here first, but yeah, we're just going to have to go into some max darkness. Or I can go into here. Special defense drop. I'm kind of digging a special defense drop. Let's do it. Let's roll. Let's get after it. Let's set up a sub this turn. Could definitely set up a sub this turn. I am going to set up a sub. I'm going to set up a sub this turn. We're doing this. Wow. Dynamax and Persia. Yo, Battle Room 1's getting a little crazy. It's getting a little crazy. I noticed it after that, after the fact that I uh, did not Dynamax. Once I locked in my move, I was just like, wait a minute. If he doesn't go for this Trick Room, we're in trouble. <laughs> And that's exactly what happened. He dropped the max worm win. Took out my took out my res ram. He got rolling from there. There's the rage powder. We saw that coming all day. We'll set up a uh a substitute here. We'll probably do it again. We could do it again. I'll probably protect next turn. Substitute coming in hot. Send it. Send the sub. Send the sub and we'll drop the max darkness, which is lovely. Max darkness comes through here. Doing like no damage at, at all. At all. Probably would have been better just not Dynamax's Pokemon. To be honest. I would have been way better. He goes for a flare. That's fine. And he going after. That's fine. That is fine. Took that up all day. I could go for a protect this turn. I could go for another sub. I could definitely go for another sub. Could indeed go for another sub. I'm thinking of changing the weather up here. Could leave it open. Could slow him down. My player. I think buffet damage could really help us out here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go for another substitute here. Another sub. Another sub coming in hot. He's gonna rage powder again. Yeah, we'll sub up all day. Start wasting out these turns. We'll start wasting out these turns all day. Substitute coming in hot. And I want him to take out my Persian. I might protect next turn and take out Persian. Just to get my Amoogus out there, because Amoogus could be really good, just like kinda like drop some shots. Oh, nice damage. That's 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 better damage right there. We like that damage. We like that damage. And then Wormwind's gonna fly. Okay, so Wormwind's flying here. Are you going after? You gotta be going after Persian here, right? And that's fine. Persian's gonna do that. And will I take a attack drop? I'm gonna sub. I don't think I do. I do. That's ugly. That's real ugly. That is real ugly. So that's gonna happen there. And what's my play? I think I'm gonna swap out my Persian and protect my uh. Oh no, I can keep Zassian in. I have my sub still up, which is gorgeous. I have my sub still out. That's lovely. That is real nice for us. That is real nice for us. I mean, still have the sub out. And I'm gonna I'm gonna swap, right? I'm gonna swap to my Moongus. I'm gonna swap to my Moongus here, and I'm just gonna go into a uh I'm gonna play off a Behemoth Blade. I'm gonna take out the Moogus. I, I want the Moogus gone. I really want this Moogus gone. So we're gonna swap a Persia. We're, we're gonna play this one slow. I'm playing this one slow. I need my Zassian to pick up some KO. So if I can get out my boy right here, Regenerator guy, 
We can start rage powder and shots and to hope to pick up some KOs. Let's see how's that Kallax in the back. And no, he double withdraws. How dare you? Who's he going to go into? Someone that's not going to eat up Behemoth Blade. Oh, baby. We like that. We like this one. We like this one. We do not mind this one bit. Behemoth Blade coming in hot. Of course, this thing has Beery Berry, but still. We don't mind that turn. We do not mind that turn. This could still chip up some nice damage. And we pose a threat on the board. We still have sub up too, which is gorgeous. Which is just lovely. Which is just lovely. Okay. Trick room out. Oh no, that's not lovely. That's not lovely. Not lovely one bit. Glacial Lance gonna do do me dirty. Um What is my play here? This is tough. <laughs> this is so tough. That terrain should go soon. How many turns left in terrain? Because I'm going to need that terrain gone. One more. We got to fake out after this. Okay. Hold up, yo. I'm putting up a fight here. I'm putting up a fight. I could rage powder this shot. Actually, I go first, don't I? Should be slowest on the field. Yeah, I'm just going to spore. Spore, and I'm just going to play rough cross onto this thing. Doing that all day long. All day long. I still have my sub out and about. My subs were doing me good. My subs doing me good, yo. What a first battle so far. We definitely screwed up early on, but we're putting up a fight here. Amoongus goes for the spore. Lovely Amoongus. I knew we needed Amoongus. Amoongus was nice in this trick room. He's real good in this trick room. He slumps. Palkia's gonna go next. What's Palkia going for? A flamethrower. That's fine. Soak this up. Eat it through the sub. Eat it through the sub. We don't mind it. We do not mind it. We do not mind it. Can we KO with this? This would be a gorgeous KO. It's a big, gorgeous KO. Player off coming in here. KO him. Yes, let's go, Zassian. Let's go. I could Pollen Puff, too. Or I could put this next Pokemon to sleep. I wonder what he's going to do here. I wonder what the play is. I do wonder what the play is here. I could take out the... Uh, I could take out the Calyrex. I could definitely take out the Calyrex. It really depends who his last Pokemon is. Is it Incineroar? Moongus. This one hurts. This one hurts. This one really hurts. I think we just palm puff. We go there. He might. Mm. This is real tough. Oh, dude, he might go for the rage powder. We'll see. We'll see what he does. He's going to spore me. Oh, no. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. How dare you? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. This is rough. This is rough. <laughs> no. Do I swap? Do I swap Amoongus here? I could swap Zacian. I could swap Zacian. Just try to waste out these trick room turns. Rough. This is real close. This is real close. Because I get my attack stat back. I can get my attack stat back if I, if I swap. What do I do? Palm Puff. How many turns left in Trick Room? That's the real question. Two. I think I'm just swapping you and hoping that he's still asleep. Palm Puff onto you. Yeah. And then just uh, swapping you in the Persian. Get my, get my attack stat back. Then I'm still asleep. That's tough. I should have stayed in there one more turn. I should have stayed in there one more turn. This is real tough. And who just subbed? Amoongus would sub? Amoongus would sub. That's embarrassing. We chip up some damage. We do like that. He wake. Of course he wakes up. Of course he wakes up. Of course this thing wakes up. That's a double kill. That's tough. That's GG's, right? It's asking a double kill. This thing's boosted. We have to wake up and protect, but... We need, we need a quick, quick sleep. If we get a quick sleep, we have a chance to win this battle. We have a chance to win this battle. If we get a quick sleep, we have a high chance to win this battle. Actually, no, we don't because he subbed up. That sub's doing me dirty. That substitute's going to do me so dirty. There is a chance. There is a, sl a slight chance, but we have to wake up here. We have to wake up and land this protect. It's our only way. We have to wake up and land this protect. Dude, what a battle. What a battle. We, If we didn't swap Zashian, I'm trying to think, would we have been fine? It would have been close because it would have gave us an extra turn to uh, wake up from our sleep. But we need to wake up here. We need to wake up. Nope. 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 No wake up. He's going to go for a uh, rage powder. 
He's gonna do that. And can I eat up a shot, maybe? He's plus two. Maybe he'll miss his high horsepower. Miss his high horsepower. He connects. God dang it. <laughs> That's GG's. Yo, what a first battle. What a first battle. We had a, we had a Dynamax our Persian because we made a bad call in the beginning. But we legit came this close to coming back. So GG's to our opponent here. Okay. Okay. That first battle was on me. It was definitely on me. We didn't bring a Pokemon into Dynamax. And we should have Dynamax Res Ramp right off the rip. Considering we had Assault Vest, we probably could have ate up that Wormwind and stayed in the battle. And probably would have won it. But... Regardless, we kept it close, we kept a nice battle, and we almost won that one. That would have would have been definitely clutch. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a Yavelta and Solgaleo team that also features Storm Drink Ashton, who I do not think he's bringing in Cinnamore, Regilecki, and Whimscott for Speed Control. How am I doing this one? How am I playing it? I might go Persian for the lead. Persian's just a nice, solid lead. So I'm going to go Persian. I think we might go Reggie here. Or we could go Tornadus as a lead. But I'm leaning towards uh, Reggie. Regiram and Persian. I just like them too. With the fake tears, we can really get rolling out from there. And then we should go Zapdos and Zacian. I'm digging it. I do like that a lot. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But like I said, yo, that first battle was so close. We had a Dynamax of Persian and we almost won it. We almost won that battle. But you guys know Calyrex is just an absolute unit in uh in the what's called in the trick room. And of course that Calyrex had a Babiri Berry. They eat up my steel shot. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. That's tough news. That's real tough news. But he's going to end up going in with these two. Okay, if he's ready to fake out, I can actually fake out before him, which is gorgeous. And I could Dynamax and just take it out that uh, Gastron, which I'm really leaning towards. Fake out the Incineroar, and then just pop off on that Gastro with the with my coverage grass move? Woo! I'm liking that. I'm liking that. We're special attacking, so that don't affect us. I'm with it all day. Fake out, coming in hot. Then we got to go for this for the max overgrowth, right? We got to go for the overgrowth. We coming in hot here. He's probably sitting there like, yo, let me drop a nice little water move on this guy. But nah, we died. So we going straight to town with Max over. Straight to town with this Res Ram. Dude, I love this Res Ram. Res Ram is super cool Pokemon. Like I said in the beginning, it is very underrated, restricted Mon. Can do a lot of work and can do some big damage. So we're going to Dynamax him. He's looking dope. Looking cool as ever. Go up to 380 HP. Wow. We love that. We love that HP. Let's see what he does here. He does not protect or anything. So we're going to get this fake out and we're going to say bye bye to Gastron. Gash shot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. We're rocking the grass coverage move. It's four times super effective to you. You got to go home. You got to get out of here. And you're not holding the window, Barry. So you're dead. You're dead. Get him out of here. Gone. Solid first turn for Jeans. We are thriving out here. I could also fake tears. Actually, can't fake tear to instant work. Got to remember that. He's dark type people. Actually, we're not prankster. We're not prankster. So we can fake tear him. We can fake tear to instant work and drop a max quake if we want to. Which does sound like a solid turn. It does sound like a solid turn. It really does. Or I could icy wind. I'm leaning more towards the Icy one because he's going to bring out a Pokemon like this. He's going to bring out a Pokemon like this. We're just hoping it's not, you know, a weakness policy. So I'm thinking of just doing this. And then just popping like a uh, a Quake. Because special defense boost would be lovely. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It's my exact play right here. And he does not Dynamax the Yvelta. So he's going to keep it from Dynamax. And I like that a lot. We're going to be able to Icy Wind slow down. And I'm thinking Regiram should be able to just dump on this Incineroar. No problem, right? Maybe. Maybe. It's going to be bringing it close. But more importantly, we get the special defense boost up against a special attacker like Yvelta. That's a really... These are really good Dynamax turns for us. Really good Dynamax turns. Yeah, we don't pick up the KO, but that's fine. I can Foul Play onto it if I want to. And Foul Play should be able to do it. Get the job done. Let's see what he's doing. He could Parting Shot onto me. Oh, of course this thing has a Berry, dude. That was the one thing I was hoping he wouldn't have. The dang berry. But all instant wars rock berries. Snarl's gonna come through here. That's cool. I'm cool with that. Snarl's gonna drop through here. And uh I'm thinking of just start fake tier now and doing some damage on the Yvelta. Because I don't feel like dealing with that Pokemon. He's gonna party shot me. Now I'm minus two. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, dude. So he's party shot. He's gonna be forced to show his final Pokemon. Who is probably gonna be his Dynamax Pokemon, right? It's probably gonna be Solgaleo, right? I have to guess it's gotta be Solgaleo. In this case, it is going to be weakness policy probably on this one. And I really don't want to brock it, but I, I might have to. I might have to. I might have to. And I'll set the drought too, which could work wonders for us. So yeah, let's fake tears over on this thing. Actually, no, it's prism armor, or it has full metal body. We cannot do that. Foul play, though. Foul play, though, over into a... Uh Over into a flare onto Yvelta. Don't withdraw so good. Okay, he's gonna go back into. Okay, that's fine. It's 
fine. It's fine. It's fine. So we'll flare this and I might swap next turn then. I might swap next turn. I want to keep my Persian in, but Persian, I would love to switch it out for a fake out. Could be a good option. That place coming in hot. How much damage are we going to do? It's not bad damage. That is not bad damage. For a foul play, we get a crit on it. We'd love to see that. Max Flare is going to fly through here just to get that weather boost damage. I really like it, even though it's going to do like nothing. Yeah, that's totally fine. He's probably just going to start all me up again. If he does, I'm thinking of just hard swapping here. Then maybe he's assing. Oblivion would come in hot. Mm. You know, like, you do not like that. I got to swap my person here. I have to swap my person here. I have to swap my Persian. I could double swap. But I feel like Persian's definitely a play call to swap. And I could just take out Incineroar. Yeah, take out Incineroar. That's fine. Take out Incineroar and swap our Persian. Just so we have Persian in the back end up against that Solgaleo. Could work well for that fake out later in the match. So we're going to swap into Zassian here. We are going to, just going to drop an Earth Power. And go into Incineroar. And just try to finish off this Pokemon. Yeah, I really, I really want this Persian for the back end. I really, really want this Persian. Because if I can proc policy and just hit that thing with a foul play, that could be some big damage. Big damage. Super effective. It's stab. It's foul play. All that good stuff. And it's just going to roll from there. He's going to fake out that side. That's gorgeous. And this will swap from us. And Earth Power is going to fly. Should be able to take out Incineroar, right? He's on red. Should be able to take him out. Yes, get him out of here. Get him out of here. That's a big time KO. Big time KO. Big time swap. Let's see what he does from here. You need to go for Oblivion Wing. Going into Persian again. That's fine. That's fine. Because now I can play rough onto that slot. I could swap my Regiram if I want, but I feel like we should just leave Regiram in here. Have Regiram do his thing. I might use him to proc policy. He's going to Dynamax. And we know he's weakness policy. I do not mind proccing the policy due to us having that foul play in the back end. No? Dude, Shiny Solgaleo looks so sick. And should I protect this turn or sub up? I might sub up just in case this thing wants to protect. Just in case Shivelta wants to protect, I am going to protect you. And I'm just going to blue flare. Could potentially burn this thing. I'm with it. Run it up. Run it up. And we have a chance of critting. We do have a chance of critting. But I have to protect this turn just in case Shivelta wants to protect. I try to take out my Zacian. We'll see. But most of the time, they're not rolling with anything too, too strong here. I should have sub. I should have sub because we know our proc policy. This could be ugly. Because I need this up Sucker Punch. It's not very effective. We'll see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays. I'm going to protect. Is he protecting? Sometimes the uh, Yveltas don't have even roll protect. You can go for Sucker Punch. Cool. It fails. That's fine. Steel Spike. Okay, he also feeds me. Steel Spike is going to come in there. And we're able to soak. So he's going to get the defense boost. Um, Can we take out Yvelta now? That's the real question. That is the real question. Blue Flare flying. Uh, ye and wow, was that a crit? Was that a crit? And we get a burn all? I don't think that was a crit. Why did it do so much damage? Why did it do so much damage? That's ridiculous. I think it doesn't matter for attack changes, does it? Does it matter for attack changes? I'm not too sure, but yo, that's a huge, huge burn for us. Huge burn for us. Like I said, we still have our foul play in the back end. It's gorgeous. Let me go into... Uh, let me see. I want to see this move, but what I want to do here is just play rough. I kind of just want to double down to Yvelta here. Because we should be fine with taking out that... Uh, we should be fine with taking out this uh, Solgaleo with my Persian in the back end. We should be fine with just double down into this. We're hoping this play rough takes it out. And it doesn't do to the defense boost. And now we're doubling down just in case. So he's going to go for Quake. He's going to take out Zassian. And we're doubling down into the slot right here. And hopefully being able to take him out. So Quake comes in hot. That's scary. But still, Regiram, can you finish this off for me? Can you do me good, Reggie? I need you here, Reggie. I need you here, Reggie. I need you here, Reggie. Regiram outspeeds. And the blue fire connects. It's Shikeo, All right, get him out of here. Cool, cool. Yo, what a battle. What a battle for us. Now we can bring back out Persian, who I really, really want it. Persian outspeeds this thing. And Foulplay should just be able to take this thing out, no problem. Right? Both these Pokemon, actually not both these Pokemon outspeed, but still. He's either going to have to take a Blue Flare or a Foulplay. And I think Foulplay goes first. I think Foulplay can just take it out, right? Super effective. This thing has weakness policy already. Foulplay coming in hot. It hits like an absolute truck. Run it up. Run it in. Let's finish up this battle here. Foulplay. Do him dirty. Foulplay coming in. Bang. 
Bang, bang, bang. Like I said, yo, foul play hits way too hard on Solgaleo. There it is, guys. 1-1 one one for today's video. Let's hop into a third. Grab ourselves a winning record. I've been looking for an Italian team for a while now. We are going up against an Italian team, and this is one of those Pokemon that I haven't seen in rank ladder for a while. Really cool Pokemon. Hopefully, he gets to bring it in here. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for a winning record for today's video. Going up against an Inteleon team with Zacian, Urshifu, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, Incineroar, and my boy Paloops to set the rain. Pelipper over there. Okay, how am I playing this one? I'm thinking Zapdos could be good here. Zapdos, alongside Persian? Or do we go Tornadus? Just take complete speed control from him. It kind of roll out from there. Looking pretty good. Tornadus. I'm liking Tornadus. I'm liking Tornadus here. I'm bringing in Reshiram and Zacian. I do dig it. The team's looking good. The team's looking real good. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. We probably should have went Persian with Zapdos because Zapdos, when he Dynamaxes, we just send an airstreams basically. Yeah, we probably should have went Persian. Yo, Persian rocks. I really do like Persian. He has the fake out control. He has the foul plays. He has the uh, the fake tears, which works so well with Reshiram and Zapdos because they're special attackers. But I really do like this team. I really, I really am liking the scene, but the Inteleon, please bring it. Please bring it. One of those Pokemon you never see. That's why I want to get a, you guys a video on Inteleon very, very soon. Because, you know, you see the Cinerases, you see the Robums, but Inteleon gets no love and absolutely no love. And this is the first time I've seen it in Series 12. So, hope this guy brings it. Hope it gets showcased. And hopefully we don't dump on it too quick. Because I would love for him to snipe shot me and take me out, you know? Let's see who he leads. He's going to end up leading the Inteleon. Yes, yeah, cool. Inteleon alongside with uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. And I'm chilling with that. I am chilling with that. I could dump on the Inteleon, no problem. I could honestly dump on Inteleon, no problem. And I wonder if Zapdos would outspeed if uh, that thing's minus one. But no, nah, we got to go for his Tailwind. And I'm just going to go for Airstream and take some speed. Yes, sir. Let's take some speed here. Tailwind. Yo, Inteleon. What's goody, dude? Hopefully he does something cool with it. Hopefully he does something cool. Look at my boy chilling there. I could honestly dump on it, but I'm just going to go after the Shadow Rider Calyrex. He's going to die next. Please be Inteleon. Please be Inteleon in his little sniper tower. G-Max Inteleon? Oh, please show it to me. I would love it. I would love it. Let's go. Let's go. He's going to Dynamax that. That's cool with that. Look at him, yo. Up in the tower, dude. He's up in his sniper tower with a little water gun. Look at that thing all the way up there, dude. I love it. That's so cool. But I wonder what, it, what, what he's going to do here. So we're going to drop this, we're going to airstream, and then I can just ice you with next turn and honestly just uh, drop my max lightning. But everything's, everything's like in my head sounding really good, but I feel like he has like an odd combo that he's going to do to kind of, kind of counteract me here. Okay, one's going to get set up here. Yay. Send it. Send it, baby. I mean, yo, Shadow Rider Calyx does learn Trick Room. It does learn Trick Room. And if Inteleon goes before him, then we know he's popping Trick Room. And Trick Room could do us dirty. Let's see. Go ahead. Go, Calyrex. Go first, Calyrex. He's Trick Rooming. You son of a biscuit. My dude's just gonna, he's just gonna Trick Room here. Oh my lord. What is this, dude? Dude pops a Trick Room. And now, now, now I don't like this one bit. Guard into Air Slash. I think I'm just Air Slashing in this thing. Dude, this Inteleon's doing me dirty. He's doing me dirty. I think he really popped the Trick Room. He's going to Hydro Snipe me. You son of a biscuit. Can you eat this? He's going to Astro Barrage too. <laughs> I love it though. I'm, I'm liking this. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. I'm digging him whipping on me right now. Oh, he popped the Trick Room. Of course he did. Of course he did. Uh, Reshiram could come out here. You have that Astro Barrage. Bring out Zashi. Dude, this sucks. Who do I bring out? Reggie? I think Reggie comes out here. Is that Assault Vest? I do like Reggie here. I do like Reggie here. Reggie Ram. Reggie Ram, baby. Let's go here. Go to a max landing if we can land it. Then I'm just going to Earth Power try to take out this thing. Wow, dude. Trick him doing me dirty. I just snipe coming in hot. Leave me alone. Eat this up, Reggie. You have a soul vest. Love you, Reggie. You should go next, Reggie, right? Reggie Ram goes next. This thing's slow. This thing's so slow. We both eat. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. That is huge. 
That is huge. We take out you. And I think that this Max Lightning can take out Inteleon. That is huge. That's enormous. These are big time KOs. If, it, if I pick up this KO, that's big time. That's big time KO. Send it. KO. Let's go. Let's go. Big time KO. Wow, dude. That Calyrex is made to be as slow as possible. It's got to be like Iron Ball or something. That thing is so slow. That thing is so slow. It's usually people are building them up to get like 200 speed. That's ridiculous. Zapdos survives. Beautiful. We love it. And now I could double protect if I want to. Which I'm leaning towards. Which I'm leaning towards. It's a 2v3 kind of. 2v1 basically because both my Pokemon are on 1 HP. But we have to use these turns to kind of waste that trigger. Actually. Ooh, does he have first turn priority move? My Regiramp should be slowest on the field. My Regiramp should be slowest on the field. Actually, no. We have Tailwind out, don't we? I totally forgot about Tailwind. That's why my thing was faster. So yeah, double protects and had to come out here. Oh, I don't have protect. I don't have it. I do not have it. That's ugly. We don't have it. That's real tough. We do not have it, dude. We do not have it. We do not have it. I thought we were rocking double protect. That wouldn't be gorgeous. We're going to detect here. This thing's going to go for a wicked blow. It's going to hit through my Zapdos. Is it? No, he just takes out my Ridge Ram. Oh mm, my god, dude. Yeah, Double Protect wouldn't have done as good anyway because, you know, Wicked Blood would just came in there and took me out. He can just play flying. Uh, okay. We play. Tailwind's gone. We have Zacian. Do indeed have Zacian. What's my play? Take out the Urshfu. I'm leaning towards it. I am leaning towards taking out the Urshfu. Heat wave. Play rough. I'm leaning towards this. Our tailwind's gone. But Zapdos is still gonna be slowest on the field. Wicked Blow comes through. Hit up on my Zassy. Give my Zapdos another turn here. No, he takes out my Zapdos. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Wow, what a battle. What a battle, yo. We go one and two for today's video. One and two. We should be able to eat this up. And maybe we can rely on a crit, which could be big. Could be big time. Do eat that up. It's huge. We have to hope that this guy's not Sash, which he probably is, right? He's not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I get a... I, I can win this one. I can win this one. Sometimes Zassians are built low. Real low. Twist Dimensions are back to normal. Hopefully we're going first. Behemoth Blade's going to pop here. Can we get a crit? Can we do... Can this thing just be low on defense? And he just wins the speed... He wins the speed time? Get out my face. Get out my face. So this guy's... Faster in Trick Room and faster without Trick Room. Out my face. Out my face. Just get out of here. Just get out of here. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. But yo, one and two for today's video. Got to show off this team really well. Reg Ram and Zassian team, definitely pretty good. Definitely solid on the rank double ladder. We did go one and two for today's video, but our opponents did make some good plays. I definitely think this team is better than what I showcased for it. I think we can definitely use it again later down the road and grab ourselves a winning record. But first battle, we end up losing. Second battle, your boy caught that though. But then that third and final battle was super, super cool. We used the Inteleon Pokemon that we haven't seen in a while, and he actually got some work done with it. I was not expecting the Trick Room to come out from the Shadow Rider Calyrex, and he used that to his advantage, went after the Trick Room, and then had his Inteleon do some work, ended up grabbing himself some win. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.